M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. I had a question. What's the difference between the Bofeng UV-RH, which is this one on the left, and on the right-hand side, you've got the Bofeng K6. So they've clearly tried to copy the Kuoshang radio with this model, but it is a much bigger radio. This is my Kuoshang hair, sort of camouflage style, which is quite fun. And if you look, you'll see that sort of big bezel that we're getting here and the styling of the buttons. And it's a clear, they're trying to, and that even with the name where they've called it the Kuoshang, sorry, the Bofun K6. But it's still a good radio. It's got airband, VHF, UHF, PMR, GMRS, all that kind of stuff, built-in torch and PTT uh, programmable buttons, twin Kenwood uh, microphone connectors, headphone set, USB-C they put on the back, which they're doing with all their models now. Even the, there's another one they made, which you'd think was a Quashang, which is this one. And look, again, very similar styling to the Quashang, but it's not a Quashang, by the way. But anyway, <clears throat> the question I had was, how does it compare to the, the new Bofeng RH? Now, power-wise, I would say the K6 is, is a bit higher. It's more like 7 or 8 watts. This one's 5 on 2 metres, 7 on 70 centimetres. But the one thing it's got, the, the newer and newer RH model, is if you hold down, just zoom in on that one, hold down the red, you've got GPS, okay? And that's... You don't have that with the the K6. You've also actually got Bluetooth built in, but it doesn't really do anything at the moment. But I'm so I think it could, but it doesn't at the moment. But otherwise, it's VHF, UHF, Airband. Has a nice, you know, that is a nice, nice looking color screen. You can see all the symbols on there. All the inf <clears throat> all the information is there. And if you hold down the A B twice. You get that nice single screen. Not sure if you get it on this one. Let's hold it down. No, you don't. I don't think you can do single screen on the K6. Com completely usable radios. Price-wise, I mean, this thing was about £45. And this was about 40 odd. It depends on the if you want all the extras. I got all the extras. But strangely, they didn't in include the torch, which I don't understand why. Maybe that's where the GPS antenna goes. Otherwise, single PTT, t twin pin, full keypad, DTMF. The menu structure does Thank look you. different. Bluetooth, weather, ch they both do weather channels. Scan, now the, this model has zones menu. and the software is quite sophisticated where the software on this is more basic uh, as what we're used to with all the other Radtel, uh, Retivis uh, type radios. So that's it. I thought I'd show them side by side. They're both, you know, I mean, they're both nice radios. If you're talking Quashang, you know, size-wise, they are bigger, you know, they are bigger. Bofeng, they do do a smaller one, which you can see just here. Bofeng. And you've got your original tiny little UV5R. Which I'll just move that one back. And there you are. Tiny. Um, it, Smaller even than the Quashang, but still, you know, don't forget you put that in your pocket, it receives it actually annoyingly, it doesn't do airband. I think that's the one thing they should have always chucked into these Bofungs years ago because very handy walking around and listening to aeroplanes, it's just fun. Um, so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, you know, if you're enjoying my videos, if you're finding them helpful, buy me a coffee. Bye for now, 7-3.